Humans are not particularly good hunters. We have large, sloppy heads on our bodies with no natural defenses or armor. Our delicate, tiny fingernails are hardly strong enough to paint, much less engage in combat. The majority of our teeth are flat, we move slowly, we cannot blend in, and our hunting instincts are just strong enough to help us point to the picture of the item we desire on the menu. The world, however, is a diverse place. Although humans may not be very frightful, certain creatures undoubtedly have the power to frighten us. Today's video is all about these enigmatic beings, Goblin Shark. The mouth of the Goblin Shark contains 50 teeth. Goblin Sharks are a rare bottom-dwelling species that may be recognized by their lengthy, flattened snouts. These horrifying insects draw attention because they have 50 teeth in their jaws. It is interesting to note that mature female Goblin Sharks are bigger than adult males of the species. Males reach an average length of 8.66 inches, while females can reach a maximum length of 11 inches. Eye Eye The Eye Eye, a lemur native to Madagascar, has one of the strangest appearances of any animal in the world. However, while some people find these primates to belong to the category of creatures that are so ugly that they're cute, that is not the general opinion of the locals who coexist with the Eye Eye. Many Malaysian communities kill Eye Eyes on sight because they believe they are a sign of bad luck or that they use their bony, ghastly middle fingers to pierce the hearts of people while they are sleeping. They do this because they are nocturnal and elusive creatures with wild eyes and demonic features that can make them look positively terrifying at first sight. The fact is that these fingers evolved to use echolocation to identify grubs and other invertebrate prey that was lurking in the trees. They are among the most docile creatures, but because of these myths and commercial deforestation, they are in grave danger. Vampire Squid Although their name could lead one to believe otherwise, squids are scavengers, not predators, despite what their name might suggest. Surprisingly, these are not squid at all. Meet the vampire squid, the sole known representative of the cephalopod order Vampyromorphida, which may be a prehistoric ancestor of the octopus and the squid. In the deep water, where there is little oxygen, vampire squid flourish. They consume marine snow, a tasty-sounding substance that is a precipitation of dead bodies, mucus, and feces that falls on them. At these depths, predators are essentially non-existent, thus the vampire squid is free to move around and undulate. These creatures have a very unsettling appearance, especially when they raise all of their webbed tentacles over their heads like a mask. However, they are nearly attractive in a peculiar manner thanks to their vivid blue eyes and bioluminescent glowing body parts. They appear more terrifying than they are, but these creatures pose no threat to people. Northern Short-Tailed Shrew There are close to 400 different species of shrew, and the majority of them are just as benign as the ordinary mouse they most resemble. That is not the case with the short-tailed shrew, an unsettling species that appears charming at first glance. Shrews are one of the three species of mammals capable of generating venom, along with bats, platypuses, and slow lorises, despite being too tiny to pose any harm to humans. The northeastern parts of North America are home to the northern short-tailed shrew, which can paralyze creatures that are much larger than itself thanks to the poison that comes out of its mouth. They need food like mice, other shrews, and salamanders because of their high metabolic rates, which force them to consume up to three times their body weight in a single day. These shrews have 32 highly efficient teeth in their mouths, as opposed to the syringe-like fangs used by snakes and spiders to inject their victims with venom. Instead, they will sink their teeth into their prey and drool the venom onto them. Shrews frequently abandon their prey paralyzed, but still alive for several weeks. Hairy Frogfish Due to its scientific name, Anatarius striatus, the hairy frogfish is also known as the striated frogfish. Despite seeming to have hair, the frogfish's body, head, and fins are covered with spinules, which are skin appendages. These spinules might be many and lengthy, quite brief, or even nearly undetectable. These predators are powerful. When a frogfish detects its prey, it will only follow that prey with its eyes. The frogfish will start moving its bait after the prey is sufficiently enough to pull it even closer. The frogfish will discreetly begin to crawl towards its target victim if the prey does not react to the bait. The frogfish will carefully orient itself so it is facing its target and will change its mouth angle in preparation for striking when the desired prey is only a short distance away. The frogfish will attack lightning fast as soon as its target is one body length away. The striking zone is defined as one body length away. Amblipigids Amblipigi, sometimes referred to as whip spiders or tailless whip scorpions, is an ancient order of arachnids. They have first legs that are very long and flexible, 
often up to six times as long as the animal itself, and would serve as antennae to sense information about their surroundings. They are usually found in rainforests and pose little threat to people unless you count nightmares. Northern Stargazer The urinoscopy family of periphery fish with eyes above their heads is represented by stargazer fish. The family consists of roughly five species in eight genera, all of which are distributed globally in shallow and deep sea water. A stargazer has huge upward-facing eyes that are positioned on top of its massive head. However, some species have insect-shaped greeds on the bottom of their mouths, which they may shake to attract the victim's attention. Their customary technique is to bury themselves in the sand and prey leaps that travel overhead. In addition to having two large deadly spines above and below their pectoral fins, stargazers are toxic. Species from the genus Astroscopus and Uranoscopus may also shock people when they come into contact with them. Shoebill Stork The odd shoe-shaped beak linked to this avian's face is nonetheless a terrible weapon in the wild, earning it the title of the creepiest bird on earth, even though it presents no threat to people and has been known to allow researchers to come as close as a few feet away from them safely. In this, size has a significant impact. Despite their gangly appearance, shoebills may grow to a height of five feet and a wingspan of about seven feet. Because of their size, they can often take down huge prey like catfish, eels, and even young crocodiles. The scariest aspect about them, though, is their hunting technique. With their beaks open, these storks will plunge headfirst to capture live prey intact. When they attempt to flee, the stork will gently open its jaws and sever its heads with its razor-sharp beak. Even grown-up crocodiles have been known to be defeated by these birds, and their mating cry frighteningly resembles a machine gun. Arthropleura Meet the Arthropleura, one of the several megafauna species that are fortunately gone. If the bizarre characteristics and numerous legs of a millipede or centipede are not enough to give you nightmares. Anyone who has seen a millipede will be familiar with its form, but it is its size that makes them appear to be such frightening creatures. The Arthropleura may grow to a length of more than eight feet. They are the biggest invertebrates ever recorded as a result, and it was originally thought that they were roving, ravenous predators. However, a more recent study suggests that despite their terrifying appearance, these animals rank among the harmless. Ultimately, this enormous creature perished as a result of environmental changes. For a time, Arthropleura were able to flourish due to the high oxygen levels in the Earth's atmosphere and the obvious absence of huge predators, but its special physiology eventually proved unsustainable. Blobfish Since 2013, the blobfish has held the distinction of the ugliest animal in the world, yet their peculiar gelatinous physiology is only a reflection of how they have changed to suit an environment that is completely foreign to humans. The blobfish, which can be found in depths between two and 4,000 feet off the coast of Australia, has evolved a body with no underlying skeleton and jelly-like muscle tissue, to enable them to survive under such extreme pressure. When pulled out of the water, it produces a bulbous, bloated visage with unsettlingly human traits. They resemble a wide variety of other fish species in their native home, though, since deeper water's higher pressure may give them shape and structure that the oxygen above cannot. Blobfish are an excellent reminder that what may appear horrifying to us is quite normal for survival in the ocean. They essentially roam around their deeper environments and consume whatever food comes their way. So guys, beware of such horror. We hope all these mysterious creatures gave you enough chills throughout the last 10 minutes. Which one of them did you find most interesting, and why so? Tell us in the comment section. With that stated, here we would wrap up our video. If you found the video helpful and informative, give it a thumbs up. To receive a notification every time we publish a new video, subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.